Now, we are so excited to bring back our Boss Ladies of CLE series. And this week, we have another very sweet story in store as we meet the woman behind those incredible, let me tell you, incredible, I frequent the place. I'm talking about Kelsey Elizabeth Cakes. It looks like she'll be sending um, some of those cakes over to Please. you after that intro. <laughs> Our Kiara Cotton introduces us to Kelsey Elizabeth Shepard, who proves that when it comes to baking, it takes patience and precision to yield the best results. Started back in 2014, and then things really, really took off. Kelsey Elizabeth was just 24 years old when she began her baking empire. There was pretty much like cupcakes or cakes on every surface of our home, <laughs> my, my parents' home. And my dad's like, so Kelsey, I think it's time we uh, might want to find a location for this. Fast forward to 2023, she's out of her parents' home and at the helm of an ever-growing business with four locations across Northeast Ohio, offering signature treats from custom wedding and special occasion cakes to macarons, cookies, and cupcakes. I wanted someone to walk in and say, wow, you got a Kelsey Elizabeth cake. You know, I almost wanted it to be like a fashion brand, like a handbag, you know, where you like are showing off, people recognize it right away. The Kelsey Elizabeth brand is the culmination of a lifetime of baking experience. Starting early with lessons from her mom, Kelsey elevated her craft by taking classes around the world. I went to Chicago and studied a little bit at the Wilton School of Decorating, and then also um, went to the Peggy Portion Cake Academy out in London, which was amazing. You know, some traveling around to try to kind of learn a lot of different styles. And with the help of social media and a few influential customers, Kelsey watched her once home-based business take on new heights. One of those pinch me moments during the 2017 NBA Finals. I was getting tagged in all these Facebook pictures and on Instagram and all these text messages saying um, Shaq, the basketball player. Not like there's no Shaq, but you know. He held up uh, our cookies on TNT. So there he is like holding it up and I'm sitting at, you know, looking at all these tags and I'm like, oh my gosh. Kelsey now has a following of over 100,000 on Instagram, a platform that directly connects her to her customers. It's something she says she doesn't take for granted. And I feel like I'm actually talking to people who want to know about our specials versus just kind of throwing out it into the world and, you know, hoping that people see it or read it or whatever it is. So yeah, social media has been huge for us. And as her business has grown, so has the woman behind the brand. She's now a wife and a new mom to a baby girl named Posey, who she's hoping will share her same love of baking. I have this little girl who I just, I just want to make her proud now, you know? So now I feel like I'm come back with a new vigor and I can't wait to share with her and have my mom there and my sister there and, you know, make it even more of a family tradition. But when it comes to work-life balance, Kelsey acknowledges there's no perfect recipe. I know that some weeks I'm going to be at the shop nonstop. Now, like this week and next week, we have that menu launched, you know, now I can take a little bit more time. I can spend more time with my daughter. I can spend more time with my husband. Today, Kelsey is still hands-on in all aspects of the business, managing a team of as many as 75 people. So I still do a lot, but it, it might not be in here baking every day. <laughs> I haven't baked in a little while, which, you know, I think is actually a good thing. I, I get to work on the business a little bit more than having to work in the business like when I first started. But no matter what hat she's wearing, Kelsey will always appreciate being able to enjoy the sweets of her labor in her hometown. This is where I was born and raised. This is, you know, where I'm excited to raise my family now. And yeah, being able to bring like this little slice of Paris to, uh, to Cleveland has been really awesome. Kiara Cotton, 3 News. I remember when Kelsey's cookies were on the NBA Finals with Shaq. That was great. Kelsey opened up her first Eastside shop over in Chagurin Falls last summer. You can find the Kelsey Elizabeth Macaroon stand at Crocker Park and at Cedar Point during the summer months. And she says she's always dreaming up new treats and new ways to expand that business.